welcome back to our channel today we are driving into the world of uh, load balancing with nginx if you have uh, ever wondering how large scale website handles heavily uh, traffic uh, without breaking a, a sweat well you are in the right place so let's start it So uh, first understand what is load balancer. A load balancer is a feature that distributes the incoming network traffic across multiple servers to ensure high availability and reliability of applications. So let's understand what is the uh, Nginx point of view. Okay. In Nginx point of view, a load balancer typically involves Configuring the Nginx to proxy incoming requests to multiple uh, backend servers based on a certain algorithm such as round robin list uh, connection, uh, IP hash, or other uh, custom method. This uh, this distribution of request helps prevent any single server from becoming uh, overloaded. Thus improving the over, overall performance and responsiveness of the application. So, what is the benefit? If you, you will go for the load balancer, then what, is, what will be the benefit? Let's understand the benefit. So, the main benefit is scalability. Nginx load balancer allow you to easily scale your application horizontally by adding more server to the handle, increase the traffic loads okay and the second is the high availability means always our uh, application will available by distributing the traffic across multiple server nginx load balancer helps ensure that uh, if one server fail or becomes unavailable other server can still handle incoming request thus improve the overall uh, reliability of the application okay performance uh, optimization engineers can intelligently distribute uh, request based on uh, on uh, factors such as uh, server load uh, response time and uh, server health uh, helping the optimizing performance and ensure that the requests are processed efficiently okay so these are the main benefits okay and the main benefit is the uh, availability okay uh, the our uh, server is always available high availability and scalability it's the most uh, important thing if you will go for the engineer's load balancer so uh, this is the actually main concept here you can see here uh, this is the user when the user uh, request okay uh, through the internet then here is the it uh, the request will hit to the nginx server okay so in nginx server we will set up the uh, nginx load balancer and uh, uh, when the traffic will come to this load balancer nginx will decide uh, whether the traffic will go to the server 1 or server 2 so this thing we will demonstrate you okay so let's do the demo so i am in my AWS console. Let's go to the uh, EC2. Okay, EC2 dashboard. Go to the instance and uh, launch the Nginx first. Okay, first you have to launch the Nginx. Okay, click, click, click on it. Give a name Nginx. Okay, and uh, Amazon Linux is fine. Okay, select the key pair. Okay, allow traffic HTTP and HTTPS and HTTP. Okay, and go down, go to the advanced section and uh, go down here in the user data and just go to here and copy this one. Okay, it's automatically install the Nginx. Okay, so just do the sudo okay and 
launch instance. Okay, just wait. Spending. Just refresh it. Now it's running. Let's check uh, whether we will access our engineering server or not. Stick to the center. Okay, I think there is some problem. Let's check. Uh, uh, go to the my terminal. Okay, then to user. Let's enter yes okay so let's check uh, uh, cd slash etc nginx is installed yes nginx is installed but i think nginx is not started sudo sudo uh, system Start Nginx. Right. Okay. So our Nginx is now started. So <coughs> let's launch the our load balancer. Okay. So uh, launch instance. Go to the launch instance and i am giving the lp as the load balancer okay and selecting the amazon linux and you go down select the key pair here okay and uh, allow the traffic here and go to the user data section okay and here we have taken first this one okay will automatically install the our apache server okay so sudo let it be sudo if it will not work so sudo we can do the sudo sudo okay and required is two instance okay uh, everything is fine. Let's launch instance. Okay. View instance. You can see. Give it as load balancer 1 and it will the load balancer 2. Okay. So refresh it. And just do it. Let me check. I think it's initialized, so it will take time. Okay, let's do it. It will take time. It's initializing. Okay, now you can see. Nginx load balancer server 1. Okay, let me change in the load balancer 2. Okay, just copy this one and go to the new window. Okay, and paste it the IP here. Yes, and sudo vi slash bar and ww html and index.html fresh enter insert and here change the server to okay and save it for identification it will help if i will go to the server 2 okay copy the ip and if you will go to this and press enter you can see 
okay wait okay you can see nginx load balancer server 2 and this is the server 1 okay so let's uh, configure the our uh, nginx uh, load balancer okay so cancel it let's go to the nginx server and go to the sudo sorry go to the cd slash etc and uh, nginx okay press enter to ls hell you can see here there is a nginx conf okay so just to sudo vi nginx conf press enter okay you can see here uh, there is a server okay in the server block the uh, above of server block you have to put the up stream okay one new block you have to put okay so here is the upstream okay just copy this one and paste it here and do the indentation okay you can see the upstream eh? and this is the uh, power cloud if it is any name like backend or any name okay uh, and this is the server IP you have to provide the server IP here let me provide the server IP of fast IP here okay just remove it and go to the AWS account and this is my fast server IP copy this one and paste it here okay and remove this one and go to the second server copy this one and paste it here okay then what we will do just go down and uh, here you can see the location okay so remove this one it's not required error page okay then in the location section also remove this one okay press enter here and here you have to the proxy pass okay copy this one and paste it here and you can see this the power cloud means here it will come from this section okay this should be save okay and save it okay and sudo uh, already this is present okay faster stop this instance okay again restart this start okay and let's check the our uh, nginx server okay you can see the nginx load balancer this is the server one again refresh it it will do. okay you can uh, we have now configured the nginx load balancer okay you can see here when we will uh, request first request it will go to the first server then automatically go to the second server and that's uh, what for, for today's uh, nginx load balancer lab if you enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tutorial until next time happy load balancing